Andy from Mod Shoes here and I'm just about to try on some Burford tan boots and I'm literally taking them out of here as you can see now I had them last night to um, lace up but other than that I've not actually put them on yet and I want to have a first look around them um, what I want to do with these and what the point of this video is is for the next 30 days I'm gonna have these on my feet I'm gonna wear them everywhere because they are considered some people consider them to be a tough boot in other words they take a while to break in uh, the chesters and the like you know the higher end lokes which is what this is some people consider to be the more the tougher boots and i've heard stories that they last forever but they do take some wearing in so we're gonna put them on i'm gonna dog walk in them i'm gonna go to work in them i'm going to a party this evening which i'm gonna wear them we're on djing um but I'm going to try and wear them with everything. Um, they're a gorgeous boot, as you can see. Lovely. You can see around there. The absolute cut of them is superb. You know, it's it's the top end of the look, look type stuff. Let's get it nice and focused so you can see it. Um, I don't know if you've known, if you've ever seen these boots, they come in, they get two of these, so one for each boot. Uh, let's see if I can pull back so you can see. Let's wait for it to sharpen up. Yeah, you see, look, you get a bag for each. They come in a proper posh box. I know that's not much, but at least it looks good on the wardrobe. Um, like I say, there's one of these each, and the sh boots are inside. So let's, I'll hit pause, put them on, and see how, what we think. As you can see, I've got the boots on. What are my first thoughts? Um, you know you've got a boot on. I don't know if you can see this bit. I don't know if that's gonna look odd from that point of view. But uh, um, it's stiff, you know, round there. Let me try and get it so you can see it from that point of view. Uh, um, it's stiff there, as you'd expect, because there's a lot of leather and it's clamped. Let me pull that back. You can see it's stiff there because it's clamped around my foot. So at the moment, as you expect with any boot, you know, I'm not, this bit's not moving at all. <laughs> so, you know, I'm struggling to sort of feel well. They do feel tight. They're tighter than I thought they were going to be. Um, this foot here is a bit bigger on mine, so I th I thought that was probably going to be looser. Um, already I can see that what's going to happen is, is I've got to sort of try and bend and bust this bit here. But let's go and have my day. Let's go and see how they get on and see if these boots live up to my expectations. Well, day two with the booties I just thought I'd show you how they've been getting on um, as you can see so this is 24 hours after me putting them on it's yeah it's about, about that I've worn them oh for a good 12 hours I think I've certainly worn them all day yesterday when we was out doing sort of shops and you know odd jobs and stuff like that and then I went to a party and that was from 6 to about 2 and I wore them then now I must be truthful they are I've got, a, I've got a blister on the back of my foot and I am finding it tight here uh, but that's because my foot's quite wide on my right foot so it's quite you know it's going to take a bit more to kind of get this to soften up but in terms of the boots I don't know let's get some close-ups if you can see it's starting to crack there nicely and around the back uh, the sole is just muck from walking up the, the lane of the party I was at last night um, but I'm about to put these on again and we're going off to a 40s afternoon, a blitz type thing, if you if you know what I mean. Well, day four of the, sh uh, the boots, um, what you need to be aware of is if you feel it's tough around here, it's still being tough on this particular bit here. Um, this has been fine across here, it's just loosened up eventually, it's not feeling tight on this boot. But on this boot, where I'm a bit wider, I've had to put in these, I shall show you, and I've wrapped these around them. So I don't know how many of you have got these kind of things. But these you put in and they'll stretch your shoe. And to make them even wider so, I've been stretching the socks around this and that's making it even wider. I don't know if that's gonna focus, just wait for that, yep. And what that's allowed it to do, because I'm quite wide here on my right foot, it's kind of push this bit out and that's quite comfortable now but I must admit after four days they are still tough as hell 
around this bit here. So it's going to hurt, it's bruising here. I've got a nice big on the back here. But I would say that if you're going to wear these continuously, you're going to have to be prepared for a little bit of pain. Now I do think after a few more days they're going to be all right. I really like them. They're starting to soften up nicely around the rest of it. But as I say, it is reasonably painful there and the blister is, is not good there. But they're smashing looking and with jeans, I think they look the business. So here we are at the end of day five and what I wanted to draw the attention to was today this boot has loosened up a bit more now so it's getting quite comfortable to wear i wouldn't say it's perfect but it's a lot more comfortable than it has been for the last few days and really what i wanted to draw everybody's attention to by day five and something that you know i concluded is that if you're only going to wear these as a smart going out shoes very occasionally you're not going to be putting the time in like i have and what i would ponder there is when you try them on you need to make sure that they kind of fit nice straight away now the people that I've met that wear them sort of all day, every day, are the kind of people I believe that put the time in to sort of break the leather down and get it feeling nice. But it's just five days in, and I, I've not had boots last that long before, but perhaps that's just because I've not had good boots. But they are starting to uh, work out nice now. So here I am out in the woods, I'm doing my dog walk, which I do every morning. On my feet, I've got my uh, Loke Burtons. It's been, so it's the first day of the second week, if you understand what I mean, so that's like the eighth day. I'm, I must admit, I've done a hairdryer trick this morning, and that seems to have softened them up lovely. And what's happened is, it's made them easier to start walking in. So let me just put pause and I'll, I'll show you. So what I've done this morning before coming out for the dog walk is, um, is put the hairdryer trick on and what's been nice about that is because I've done that it's made it nice and supple so they're not hurting so much like when you put them on first thing in the morning now it's made this bit nice and soft and where I've been complaining about it being too tight on my big fat foot here it's really what opened it up nicely so that yes they're hurting a bit around here you know a bit that's a lot springier than it was. So I think the warmth of the hairdryer has kind of released the leather, made it feel like you can walk in them so they're nice and soft. And then your heat of your shoe has, has kind of allowed them to go for a walk. So please excuse my dog leads and everything in my jeans, but as you can see, rape right day in and they're going good. Follow me, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. 